Welcome to Heads Outdoors Hoodcraft Survival. Now, by the title of this video, I'm sure I have you guys very intrigued. Survival with a butter knife? It's crazy, right? Might not be as crazy as you guys think. Might not be as crazy as I think. We're going to figure that out today here on this episode. Um, I have a butter knife here with me. And this is the first time I've used this. I've not used it or tested it or anything before right now. Now, it's just a plain Jane simple butter knife it came with no edge dull as can be and I had my father sharpen it who is a master at sharpening a knife and he sharpened it for me so that I could do this so it has this drop point right on here and my father put that on too along with sharpening it and then I think he sharpened up the spine I'm not sure to strike a ferro rod I'll test that right now Got my ferro rod right here, made by Coglins. And yes, it will strike a ferro rod. Well enough. Set that down and drop it, of course. Put my <coughs> ferro rod back. So, I'm just going to see what I can do with this. Now, this thing weighs almost nothing. And it is just razor, razor sharp. Now, I can... First thing I'm going to do is uh, make some feather sticks, see if it can do that to make a fire. It can strike a ferro rod, fine. Two good things out of a cutting tool, and you know, you can cut cordage with this, fine. Do most things that you will need with a cutting tool, so let's see how well it performs. So I don't have a good sheath for this, I just have, you know, a sheath that will hold it, you know, not well, but it does the job. And I'm just going to try and harvest this piece of stick right here by cutting into it and immediately I can tell that the handle is quite small and so it turns in my hand but look at that I'm going to cut it down here cut it off down here handle is really annoying. Just enough so I can break it. Okay, so I'm going to set the seats down right over there. And I'm just going to sharpen this into a spear point. Now it's already at a spear point, but I'm just going to get a handle of this knife. And again, this knife is a butter knife, okay? So it's made for cutting butter, and that's it. And you can see it's flying through the wood like it's nothing and this is actually a hardwood this is not a softwood it's not considered softwood this is what is called a vine maple so this is a knife or this is a wood that will dull a knife very quickly and it's very tough to get through not something I usually carve with just I mean you can see how much that does just to get a flat point on there now again, the handle is quite small, and so the knife likes to turn in my hand without me having any more choice over it, but that's fine. That's something I can fix with easy paracord, you know? Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of batoning, not too much. If I was in a survival situation, I would avoid this as much as possible, especially if this was my only cutting tool. But you have to realize that this thing was not heat treated in any other way than what they do with butter knives you know I did not heat treat this at all my father didn't do it either we got this out of our kitchen my father sharpened it for me and then this is what you're seeing now there's a knot right there and that's not something I expect to go through wow Wow, that is actually quite impressive. I was not expecting to get through that or have it survive. You can baton wood with a butter knife. Who knew? We're just gonna get some feather sticks now. This is this wood is damp, even though it's like 90 degrees out here. This thing is very lightweight, so fatiguing my hand while I'm gonna do this is not something that's gonna happen. So 
This wood is not very good for this. This is with a butter knife. It's amazing. Let's try a different technique. And you can see all of these curls would be great for a fire. They're not the best, but that's because of the wood. But plenty of curls right there. Let's see. And then you can, if you wanted to make a spear. You can. Already did that, you know. Uh, you want to hold that for a minute until I get up there? Big you Oh. Okay. We have some spiderweb. Got some spiderwebs up here. Okay. When you're done with close up, you can hand that to me. Take your time. Okay. Sorry, I just want to no, get a close up. Good. I'm just gonna get some bark off this. You got some awesome bark. Tinder. Probably make some cordage out of this. It's just really nice to have this cutting tool just to do small jobs like this. Wow. That would be very good for cordage. You can see there's a lot of flex in the blade. But this thing is tough. Certainly don't want to break it though. There we are. I'm going to grab a bunch of this because while I'm at it, I will come back and harvest some of this wood because it's dead. I'll come and harvest it for a bow drill later on. Because it'll be great for that. Um, let's just grab a little bit more. There we are. Okay, now let's see what, how we can process this. Thank you. I already know if I'll need the knife for this. I might go. So all I'm gonna do is just separate the outer bark, because that stuff is tough, with the inner bark. And the inner bark is great for making cordage, um, great for making fire, which is what I'll try to achieve. I think I threw away all my curls. Okay. Glad it's dry today. Yeah. Yeah, that's a perfect candidate for the Bodro. Okay, I think this is about good. Might need to process it down a little bit more, but I, I think that's fine. For video purposes, anyway. If I was really trying to get a big fire started, I would get a lot bigger tinder bundle than that. Let me show this to But I'll, if this doesn't work, I'll use some fat wood. This is just a ferrocerium rod. Cool beans. I do mean cool beans. Cook some beans. Cook some beans. Wow. All with a freaking butter knife.
so I'm just gonna cut off this fungus. You know, if, if, if this was a fungus I was gonna use for tinder or something like that. You know, you can cut it off and let's say you can process it up. Now this is what is called, uh, what do they call this? Uh, turkey tail fungus, I think. I believe that's what it's called. Turkey tail or turkey fungus or something like that. So if you want to cut it up into pieces, you can do that. You know, whatever fungus you got, anything you need. You know, just, you know food processing is going to be amazing at. It smells like radish. It does kind of. Yeah, yeah. That and dirt. So, you know, if you're just processing some things up, this could be, you know, this is an example of food. Great food prep knife. Why would you buy a food prep knife if you can just sharpen your, yourself up a butter knife with a file? This thing is still razor, razor sharp. And this thing is amazing. And I think it's just society that tells you that you have to buy something expensive when you don't really have to buy something expensive. What you already have at your house will work. Don't listen to propaganda. I mean, buying things that are expensive or, you know, $50, $200, $300 a night, that's fine. I don't care. Um, I've definitely done something like that. But something like this, you shouldn't say it won't work. You should never say it won't work. And if I upgraded the handle on this, I mean, that's pretty good. Now, I want to make it clear that there's nothing wrong with buying expensive knives. But this still works. I cut myself. I don't know exactly how. Huh. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to jump up here real quick. So I'd like to thank Creek Stewart, you know, while I do this, so that you don't get bored. Um, because I learned, I got the idea from this, from his newest book. I think it's his newest. Uh, Build the Perfect Bug Out Survival Skills by Creek Stewart and that's just an amazing book and in it he just showed a picture just a quick picture and mentioned that even a sharpened butter knife will work in a survival situation let's say you're bugging out and you, and you lose your bug out bag or conveyance like a car your boat, bike, whatever and you know all your supplies get stolen well if you go to a ravenst house <coughs> excuse me, that's already been looted, there might only be butter knives there, you know? You might go to a house and it's already scavenged, but most people aren't going to think, grab a butter knife for a cutting tool. So if you think like that, you might be able to take advantage of a house that's already been looted. Now I'm not saying you should ever break into somebody's house ever, or any place ever, never do that. But you know. So anyway, if you think outside the box, most looters won't. So you might be able to go to your house after it's been looted or, you know, whatever. And find a house that has butter knives in it that nobody thought to take. Because the kitchen knives will probably already be stolen. But not the butter knives. You know? This wood is not very good for this. And you can make feather sticks, you know, you can cut cordage, you can do whatever you want. So anyway, you know, thanks for the idea, Creek Stewart, from your book. Your book is amazing. It's very helpful to me, and I'm sure many other people. I doubt you're watching this, though. Anyway, I thought I'd show this, this video to you guys so that you guys can help, you know, your mind to think outside the box with something like that, you know? <clears throat> Just amazing, really. But I batoned with it. I batoned with a butter knife. How is that possible? <clears throat> and I stabbed it into a log. And I'm getting some water. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do, now that I've done all the tests I wanted to do, is check. It's not bent at all. It's perfectly straight. You can see that. Perfectly straight. Not bent. Not chipped. You know, the edge didn't chip. This is stainless steel. If you can find one high carbon steel, that would be amazing. Because then you can use flint on the back to start a fire. But, you know, you can strike a ferro rod. You can make feather sticks. You can get tinder to process. 
<coughs> um, you can harvest wood, small sticks and things like that for a fire. You can cut cordage, cut open, stuff like that. You can strap this to the end of a spear, to the end of a spear and throw it. If you don't want to throw your belt knife, this could just be a redundant cutting tool. If you don't want to lose your main belt knife, you know, throw your, throw your butter knife on the end of a spear to kill game and stuff like that. Keep it in your pack as an extra, just in case, you know. This could be a self-defense tool in a bug-out survival situation. Or, to do like that. You know? You know, it could be used for many things. And now that I've done all the testing, I'm just going to baton a bunch of things. So that if this breaks now, you've already seen all the testing. So, I'm not going to worry about breaking this. If it does, it does. It costs me nothing, about 25 cents. So... I'm just going to baton through something like that, and we'll see if it holds up. Okay, I'm just going to baton through this to try and break this, see if it will break. And I, I don't know if it will or not. Okay, I bent it. Huh? I bent it, okay, let me keep going. Um. Look at that. Now I did bend it quite a bit. Whoa. You can see how bent that is? Or, you know, I'll put a knife up there for comparison. You can see how bent that is. So, it will bend if you do that, no doubt. Just because it's so thin. But it didn't break, and I can bend that back probably. Well, let's see. Okay, now that it's bent, let's see if it can still perform something. Let's cut a notch. Okay, you know, if you're going to make a figure for deadfall trap, you know, I'm not going to sit out here and carve one because I've done that in several of my videos. But, and I'm not going to hunt with it, but I'm just going to carve a couple notches just so that you guys know that, you know, with it you can carve a figure for deadfall trap, Paiute deadfall trap, you know, whatever trap you want. So all I'm going to do is sharpen this end. is sharpen this end and then I'll cut a notch. Now it is still bent. So I'm just going to sharpen this flat. Okay. So I sharpened that flat. You know, that would be a piece for a figure four deadfall trap to lock into a notch. Now I'm just going to cut a simple 7 notch. Okay, I accidentally batoned through the whole thing, so I got a new piece. And you know, with this you can carve, you know, simply a figure 4 deadfall trap. I've done that in many of my videos. I haven't done a specific video on it, but you know. Let's grab that other piece that I probably dropped. You got a notch right there, you can do a log cabin notch. Any type of notch you want. You know, whatever. This works. And as long as it works, it's okay. It doesn't matter if it says bench made on the side. It doesn't matter if it says K-bar on the side. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And for what I would use this for, it works. The only problem is the handle that I would fix, you know. Make it bigger, wrap it in something. And it is bent because I did something stupid with it, but it was a torture test, and it didn't break. So, you know, what else do you need to do with it? It's a butter knife. It's sharp. It is still very razor sharp, even though it's bent. 
what else do you need to do, you know? If you want to leave suggestions down below in the comments, that'll be very welcome. I'll read them. Might make episode two, part one, part two, maybe. Um, what else do you want me to test that's impractical and people wouldn't think to test? Leave it down below, I'll do it. Probably. Not, I'm not saying I'll do everything. Anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching it. It is much appreciated. Everything you guys do to, to, spark, to support my channel and my videos is very appreciated. Appreciated. And so thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Don't baton with a butter knife, but do most other things. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. So, see ya. This is gonna break, I know it. Don't try this at home. Do not try this at home. Did it break? Nope. Stick broke. Stick broke. That's my point. That's the point of this, I guess. I won't. Still alive. Oop. I'm hitting this with all my might, and it's not breaking. There's a knot right there. You see that knot? Hold on. Yes. You see the knot right there? I'm gonna go through that. The butter knot.